Read Across America Day is Saturday. It started 22 years ago as a way to celebrate Dr. Seuss's birthday. And joining me now is our friend Audrey Buller from Joseph Beth Booksellers for some recommended reads. So it kicks off Saturday, goes all next week. I know schools will be celebrating Read Across America Week, but we can all celebrate, right? I think every day should be Read Across America Day. There but, you go. But it is nice to have an official one. And what better day than Dr. Seuss's birthday? So you have some great picks. And I do. For all ages. I, I've tried to scope it out for uh, a variety of ages here. This is a really good thriller. Uh, it's a World War II setting. There's art theft, there's a romance, there's a coming of age story. It's it's just terrific. There are good guys trying to steal the Titians before the bad guys get there. The bad guys are trying to steal them so they have them. There's all kinds of excitement and it just marches along. It's just great atmosphere. Okay, and what age group do you think that's oh, for? Oh, this is adults. adults. Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. The Curse of Pietro Houdini. Pietro Houdini, I, yes. I like it. Okay, yeah. next up. Otter Country. Who doesn't love otters? Mm. They are now. This is written for an adult audience, but I think teenagers could enjoy. Anyone who loves the natural world. Okay. The woman who wrote this spans a calendar year following otters around her native England. Oh. And I mean, they're just so cute and clever and wonderful looking, you know, and they're they're fascinating animals and what they do for the local environment as they live in the streams and rivers. It's See, that's why I have I love having a master bookseller come in and tell us about these pics, because I, I don't know if I would have thought of looking at otter country and going, hmm, that's something I'd be interested oh. in. But the way that you described it sounds fascinating. It is. It's a terrific story. It's a terrific I love to read about the natural yeah. world. Yeah. Okay, next. This is for um, YA, our young adult readers. Um, this is a, a great historical uh, novel with a little bit of, of magic thrown in. It starts out in late 19th century Buenos Aires, and uh, the young lady who is the center of the book, her parents are archaeologists. They are in Egypt. Something happens to them, and she's compelled to go to Egypt to try to solve the mystery. And so there is there is a little magic. You get into the whole uh, Egyptian mythology, oh. and oh, it's it's lovely. There is some off-screen violence. There's no gratuitous sex. It's a pretty clean read if you're concerned. So great YA read. I, I would think a good 12, 13-year-old okay. reader would enjoy this on up through. I liked it. I was going to say, it sounds, I love Egyptian myth mythology and yeah. that type of thing, so it sounds wonderful. And it is It is kind of cool that it's a South American heroine, yeah. too. A yeah. little different. Right. I love that. Yeah. OK, up next. I want 100 dogs. So do I. <laughs> this is so great. It's a little girl starting out with her dad saying, I want 100 dogs. And he says, now, honey. So she backs off. She says, OK, 90. And he says, how would you feed them? Well, OK, 80. Well, how would you bathe them? You'd need a swim. Well, OK. They finally get it down to, OK, daddy, one dog. And he says, OK, you can have one dog. She goes to bed, and the parents in the living room going, I can't believe we talked her out of 100 dogs. And she's in her room going, I can't believe I talked him into, into one, one dog. I love it. I love it. <laughs> And then we've got about 30 seconds uh -huh. left for our last one. This is Intermediate Read, the Tea Dragon Society. It's very gentle fantasy. It is a um, graphic novel. Oh. And it's about the importance of memory and cultural traditions being passed along. And uh, yeah, very sweet. The Tea Dragon Society. Uh -huh. Beautiful. It looks beautiful, too. I love those illustrations. Okay, Audrey Buller from Joseph Beth. Thank you so much. If people want to come in, is Joseph Beth doing anything big for... Um, we've got good story times going on every single day, and okay. we'll be talking about it all week. All right. Thank you so much. And you can always find our local 12 stories right here on YouTube. Don't forget to tap subscribe, and then you can get all the notifications.